Damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school. Man, can you believe this year's already over? We're practically seniors now. Just one more year. You think anything interesting will happen? I hope you're right. But seeing the current seniors makes me wonder. Seems like all they frickin' do is study. Talk about boring. Is that gonna be us next year? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Hey, uh, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute. How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Seriously? Uh, what's her name then? I don't know. So then why are you giving me a hard time? Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year, with so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Akihiko Senpai's moving out. You know, the captain of the boxing team. I know who he is, but I haven't really talked to him. Of course, all the graduates are leaving, even Kirijo Senpai. Miss Student Council President. She's in our dorm too, huh? Hey there! Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Um... It's nothing. She looks kinda depressed, doesn't she? Wait, do you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> I doubt it! Ouch! That hurts. By the way, Yukitan. Uh, never mind. Forget it. Aw, oh, come on now. Don't give me that. Um, well... Do you remember how we became friends? I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I was just thinking. Well, it's not like we're best friends or anything, so I guess it just kind of happened. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. It is kind of weird, actually, now that I think about it. But I can't really explain why. Anyway, that girl. Oh, crap.
It's me, Igis. May I please come in? Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. I remember everything. Everyone seems to have forgotten, but I remember... That day... We... I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered... I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did at the last battle. Graduations today, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. Such nice weather outside. Do you remember? The promise we all made? Why don't we go there and wait for the others? We can enjoy the view of this peaceful city. The time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together, we want the senior class to know that you've truly earned our respect. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and prosperity. On this auspicious occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kurijo. Thank you. This last year, I accepted an important responsibility as Student Council President. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden... Illness. Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. Must be tough thinking about her father. I remember. Yes. With my father's death, I lost my purpose in life. Hang on. Wasn't I supposed to? Uh, 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 Akihiko Senpai. What's Dude, up? Sit down, you two. But Wait, now I have something to live for. Beat me. No longer will I run from the future. I will face it head on, carrying out my father's will. I am resolved. And without reservation. Promise. <laughs> I owe it all to my invaluable friends. And we have promised to never lose hope, no matter what tomorrow may bring.
Senpai, we made a promise. Let's find him, and I guess too. Yes, I can hardly wait. Everyone, let's go! The wind feels so nice. This is my first time experiencing spring. But this season will eventually pass. After fighting alongside you and facing the world's end, I finally began to understand what it means to live. Thinking for yourself, not running away. Accepting the inevitable. All things eventually come to an end. Every living thing will one day disappear. Only by accepting this can one discover what they truly want. What the meaning of their life will be. I understand now why I was so tormented by my lack of strength. Protecting others became more than just an order I had to obey. I wanted to do it for my own reasons. I realized this once I decided to try and prevent the fall. When I thought I might never see you again, something else became clear to me. What I wanted most. And so, I made up my mind. I decided that I would continue to protect you. I want to be your strength. I know I'm not the only one who can do this, but that's okay. <sighs> My life will be worth living if it's for this reason. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> You're right. <sighs> what am I doing? I understand now, so I should be happy. Hey! Everyone! I realize now that I have friends as well. You don't have to save the world to find meaning in life. Sometimes, all you need is something simple, like someone to take care of. I'll keep on living no matter what, so that I can protect you. Thank you, for everything. You must be tired. Please, get some rest. I'll stay right here with you. Soon, all your friends will be here by your side. Don't worry, I will always be by your side, protecting you.